Good day to all. Welcome cadets of Mindanao State University, Maigo School of Arts and Grades ROTC unit to our virtual training for the academic year 2020-2021. This presentation is purposely done to inform everyone about the organizational structure, history, the standards and conduct of a soldier, and the internet etiquette. The MSC Maigo ROTC History The Maigo School of Arts and Trades ROTC Unit was cross-enrolled with St. Peter's College ROTC Unit way back in 1968 to 1974. Then, from 1974 to 1976, it was cross-enrolled with the Harvardian College in Ozami City. All cadres that handled the training came from the Harvardian College ROTC Unit. Eventually, in April 14, 1979, it found itself affiliated back to St. Peter's College ROTC unit in Iligan City. Training and operation was conducted at the school campus by the personnel of 1121PHDC 10 RHDU RSCO, stationed at Camp General Climaco Pintoy, Suarez, Iligan City. At the moment, MSU Maigo is one of the 10 of 2nd CDC 10th RCDG Ariscom active unit conducting training on its campus and is affiliated with other schools in Lano del Norte. These are the Christ the King College of Maranding, Colegio de Iligan, Colegio de Capatagan, Tobod School of Science and Technology Incorporated, North Central Mindanao College, and Tobod College. The MSU Maigo ROTC provides military education and training for students to mobilize them for national defense preparedness. It offers significant opportunities and benefits and has been a good partner of the school in developing students' personal traits such as patriotism, self-discipline, self-esteem, teamwork, perseverance, and leadership skills that every student needs regardless of their career plans. The MSCU Maigo ROTC unit is headed by Sergeant Riza L. Garciso as the ROTC coordinator. The unit has two GMAs, Sergeant Nelmar B. Ambalong and Sergeant Maria Lea Isula. The Corps of Cadets is headed by the Brigade Commander Cadet First Class Dexter P. Barkin. For now, the core commander lang sa among ipailaila soon, we will be posting the organizational chart. Wala pa karon kay, nag pa sila and also there was a change of command. Daghan pa mo dapat mailaila especially people from 10 second CDC. Sa pagkakaroon, ang importante, you will meet those people na direct contact ninyo, the company commanders and the platoon leaders. Now let's have the conduct of a soldier. Core values are in the heart of every soldier, but can be seen in the actions, words, and deeds of military life according to the following criteria. First, pursuit of excellence. Every soldier has the ability and knowledge to achieve excellence in whatever he enters. Apart from strength, intelligence, and resilience in battle, a soldier also aspires to achieve excellence in all his activities and in any field. As a result, they are constantly training in martial arts and continuously utilizing all the soldier's ability. As such, the assistance of the Filipino soldiers in the development of the communities they serve is recognized. As long as the soldier aspires to excellence in work, he will also be expected to succeed in his mission. Pride in Uniform The uniform of the Filipino soldier symbolizes all the importance in the Army of the Republic of the Philippines, such as the Philippine flag. Wearing it is honorable because it is also a symbol of loyalty and discipline enforced in military life, such as it is strictly forbidden to misuse or disrespect the uniform including all insignia or emblems at its rank. 
it is important to know the meaning of each part and the symbol attached to it because it gives life to the spirit of the true soldier. The uniform is one connection to the history of the Filipino race and a symbol of what can still be created for the sake of the Filipino people. It is the symbol of the unity of the people in all the aspiration of a better future for all. Discipline For the development of the people, discipline is needed. It is applied to the thoughts, words, and deeds of the Filipino soldiers. This includes following the orders of the officers of each level of the Philippine army. It is synonymous to self-control. A training that controls, corrects, and molds the mental faculties of an individual. It is a control gained by enforcing obedience or order, that is to punish or penalize for the sake of enforcing obedience, order, and perfecting moral character. Following orders is the utmost importance in the army. Obedience is what allows the military to operate in an organized and effective manner that is clearly very important during mil military difficult situations. Not following order is not an optional choice that anyone can make when joining military training such as ROTC. Maoto na ang mga wala nag-follow sa simple order in taking the quiz really has a consequence. Kaya ato pag-follow sa instruction will show how disciplined we are. If we are allowed to have a face-to-face -face class, this will be first taught in marching. Mauna, mas kindili na uso ang mag-march padulong sa battlefield, ginatudlo pa Japon. Kay din he, ni mo mapakita ang gitawag na tog discipline, ang pagkontrol sa kamot o tiil nga synchronize iniglakaw, ang pagtindog with bearing, ang pagmaintain sa line nga straight even in moving. All of it needs self-control thus showing discipline. Although the discipline applied in military life is strict, it is hoped that the loss of life on the battlefield will be avoided and a good companion who is essential to the success of any military mission will be strengthened. All equipment and soldier may be lost, but the mission will be held because discipline will take him. Professionalism Professionalism in the military profession means loyalty to duty, knowledge and skills, and can be expressed by paying attention to duties and required discipline and skills. The soldier is guided by the standard of proper sonalism military to represent the basic values of the Philippine Army and in particular the requirements of the SLP and the branches of the government. Professionalism comes from the achievement of the soldier's success, his disciplined performance, whenever, wherever, and how, the recognition of individual merit, humility of the gainer of respect, and above all, the will of a man. Such a statement came from a general full of experience in the battlefield and came from enlisted personnel. He believes that military professionalism will pave the way for peace, and stability in the country. In professionalism, there is no bias to support the welfare of the majority. Confidence in the ability and then personality are important. Professionalism and military solidarity teach the soldier a good view of his unique mission. Personalism is the basis for the support of civilians and their acceptance of military initiatives. Since we are to exercise professionalism, it is indeed very important that we learn the internet etiquette or we all know as netiquette. This will serve as our house rules in our online classes. First, introduce yourself properly. Dapat with great greetings, like good morning sir, mom. We address this um, person with authority like your coordinator, the GMAs, and the officers with ma'am and sir. 
Tapos state your name and your purpose. Respect others' privacy by not sharing personal information, photos, or videos that another person may not want published online. Kini siya pinaka-importante dyan. Kay naiuban, i-edit ang photos sa kauban thinking okay ra sa tag-iya dahil himuong katawanan sa GC. Dili na pwede. In this case, pwede mong makasuhan for cyber bullying. Show good leadership and followership by not igniting any malicious convo. Avoid posting inflammatory or offensive comments online or anything not related with our subject. Dili mag-KSP. Dili mag-post-post or mag-chat-chat o dili related sa ROTC aron lang mapansin. Kay na'y uban, magpapansin, mag-PMPM o mga papansin na message tapos o mapansin na siya o niya dili Maoy iya hanggi expect na mapansin siya, mag-react, react na dayon, mag-post-post na dayon, then dili na maayo. Dapat be professional, show that you are a disciplined person. Don't troll people in web forums or website comments by repeatedly nagging or annoying them. Aya pa kalawin yung kauban. Kaysa imong paminaw iyang ipangutan is nonsense na, then let it pass. Ayaw ninyo kabuangi sa GC. Stick to the topic when posting in online forums or when commenting on photos or videos such as YouTube or Facebook comments. Don't swear or use offensive language. Avoid replying to negative comments with more negative comments. Instead, break the cycle with positive posts. If someone asks a question and you know the answer, offer to help. And then, Thank others who help you online. Lastly, we have adherence to law. The Armed Forces of the Philippines has received direction from the National Command Authority. As a backbone of the SLP, the Philippine Army and its soldiers must abide by the orders based on the rules set out in the national policy. The military leadership is the chain of command decides how to carry out a rule, not the individual soldier. Every soldier is a citizen of the Philippines. So as a soldier, he is subject to the same law and should obey such a part of his service to the people. The Constitution, the Article of War, the Codes of Law, the Law of Ethical Standards and Public Accountability, and other special laws should be also followed as the minimum standard of conduct expected of a soldier. During the fight, the highest standard of conduct are important and will be followed. Also, there is no command or lack of command or knowledge of action or in an unusual situation or traditional law. The system values and standards of conduct contained therein should be strictly followed. Then we have the last but not the least, deference to authority. Milita military power is exercised in the chain of command. Mga nang dili mi pataka og implement, kay nag-follow lang po ni og orders gikan sa taas. Like unsa i-discuss, what are the rules in conducting trainings, and also the grading system. Mga na siya nga ang mga orders, especially pareto kung pag Hatag sa quiz, dapat si core commander will give order to the battalion commanders. The battalion commanders will give order to the company commanders. And the company commanders will give order or give the instruction to the cadets. So, dapat ang naghatag sa idea na mag-quiz ta, muni-muni-muna-muna, is the platoon leaders. The people in power at every level in the army are entrusted with the implementation of the movement needs and the discipline to ensure that it is complied with. It is also a cause of unity because when the leader has an identity in his action, in his success with his staff. Military ceremonies, tradition, customs, and ceremonies salute the chain of command and show the best side of discipline 
that the soldier also demonstrates. Acceptance of civil power is necessary to the soldier as part of his responsibility, since his response will serve as an influence on the outcome of the critical situation or will determine the stability of the position power. At this point, the soldier, even if the action is limited in the course of his mission, may depend on civilian power to the point that life will be pres pres preserved and the mission objective achieved. A professional soldier acting in accordance with the overarching philosophy of the Philippine Army can create and carry responsibility to decide on point of duty based on the needs of the situation. His professionalism will provide protection and serve as guide for the action by being true to himself and to the people he serves. The soldier will be able to live up to his duty because the mission will be simple. It is great, even if it is broad but short-lived. In summary, there are three characteristics that dominate, dominate the life of the Filipino soldier. His ability to be happy in times of comfort or hardship, creativity and ability to analyze things even when it sounds of his skill, and the incomparable faith in God. In all of this, the Filipino soldier acting to the earlier summaries of philosophy is also the Philippine army, able to carry out military mission even alone in the battlefield or in peace. That would be all. Enjoy the virtual training. Good day.